All right. That clean sweep of questions puts you most resoundedly in my good book. Let's continue it then. Two of the statues were found at the Doctor's and the antique shop. Maybe the Colonel learnt of the third? Let us see if you can find them all. All right, let's start at the antique shop. Even with the constable doing his best, the approach to the antique shop owner does not get off to the most auspicious start. You most certainly are. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm not taking it anywhere. It's not for sale. I'm rather fond of it. But this is for a most important police investigation. There's been murder and everything. Please, can we borrow it? Pretty please? Realizing this is going nowhere, you're about to intervene when the statue's guardian turns to you. I recognize you. You, you, uh, uh, better. You helped me before after some rat scallion tried to. Uh, uh, nothing. If you want to assist me with this little matter, I'll let you borrow the statue. But I want it returned intact first thing tomorrow. You indulge the self serving antiques purveyor. Faker Flower Frolics. The antique shop owner is a very fussy person, and as such, he needs his belongings right, arranged I hope we can in do a very this. Get ready, set, go, go, go. Okay. So I guess this goes here. And there's three here, and okay, that's good to remember. So, three more on B than C. There's five now there. Hmm, let's see. That's four. So it needs to be eight. There, so. Oh, well, there's eight, there's four, but, um. There we go. I think this is it. Let's see how you did. Correct you are. Oh yeah. Well done. Let's continue. My my my, weren't you in a hurry? Ooh, whoa! No mistakes made. Show off. My aren't you terrible? Alright, let's continue. That done, you seek your just reward. So sim 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 <laughs> so simple. Too simple, in fact. I shall be keeping my statue. Mm. Ooh, take it. Bring it back tomorrow morning. <laughs> that was well done. I didn't think we were going to get that. I'll sit here a moment, will you? Sitting on a nearby park bench, the constable pokes and prods at the statue. You're about to offer to help when he turns one of the legs. <gasps> it's a secret. Two tiles and a piece of paper fall out. Oh, I hope that was supposed to happen. We'd best take this along and look at it later. We don't want that antiques chap saying we broke his prize statue. You're tempted to point out that we didn't break anything. However, he is correct. This is neither the time nor the place. All right, let's continue to the colonel's house.
It is dead. rare that you find yourself returning to the scene of your own crime. Breaking and entering has become something of a habit for you in Little Riddle. Gosh, there's a lot to go through and no mistake. I suppose we'd better split up and see if we can find this missing statue. There must be some organization to all this. Looking at the precarious piles of papers and research materials, you're not sure that organization was something Bert the Blag knew of. Still, one never knows. Yep, yep. Let's try this. The ca Colonel's drum. You found a notebook with relevant information about the resting place of the third statue. Can you decipher what the Colonel was trying to say? Let's try. Get ready, set, go, go, go. Um. Um. Okay, I know one word of them. Oh wait, that there. The village. Um. Let's see. It could be green, but I don't quite understand why it would be green. Well, I guess we can try that. Did you show intellect or idiocy? Correct. Oh, it is. Nice. Gosh, you got through that one. Lickety split. You made that look easy, not an error in sight. There are no words sufficient to describe right, let's your... let's continue. It seems from what you've uncovered that the conman colonel didn't know anything about the treasure, but did know about the statue. Look here! He doesn't know what's so important about it, but he mentions in his notebook about the village green. Says something needs unearthing there. It seems the third statue is interred on the village green. Perhaps further perusal of the notebook while on the green sward itself may be revealing. With the ever enthused constable leading the way, you press on. All right, now let's go to the doctors. At the doctor's house, the constable certainly seems to be getting into the spirit of the occasion. We don't have a warrant for this, so I'll catch it up if we get rumbled. I'll wait outside with your dog. He can bark if anyone comes, right? I can always step in and arrest you if the doctor comes, so it'll be all right. Yes, how terribly reassuring. The doctor is not a believer in clean living, it seems. With the very room itself seeming to be a puzzle, it takes a while for you to find and focus on the real challenge. All right, let's try it. Break, breaking and entering. I hope we can do this. Amongst the mess, you'll find a few sentences, some of which form part of a poem. Can you use the information to work out which lines these are? Let's try it. Get ready, set, go, go, go.
Okay, there's two up here. 